when a 16-month-old little boy has got a new sibling to help prepare him. So she says, so hi, Lena. Hi, Karen. I usually watch your weekly videos. I have a question about things I can do to help prepare my 16-month-old baby boy for the arrival of his baby sister in January. I talk to him about it in the baby in mummy's belly, but not sure to what extent he comprehends. We have had contact with a couple of new babies recently, and his reaction to these has not been great. When we got close or held these babies, our son became upset and was trying to be held, and at some point tried to hit one of the babies. Um, I'd appreciate if you could give me some tips on what to do. I'm a bit worried about his reaction towards his new baby sister. Thanks, Lena. Now, the fact it's a sister, that's actually going to be a little bit easier, Lena. Okay? If it's the same gender, it can be more challenging, particularly for a boy. Boys, boys don't cope with a new, improved model. Girls are sometimes not great. I wasn't great when my sister arrived. We're good friends now. But, you know, siblings are siblings. So... What I would do is I would get him a little pram, a little stroller with a dolly. And I would get I would get him to, you know, do some things for the dolly to help teach empathy. Like, oh, dolly's cold. Does she need a little blanket on her? Dolly's hungry. Does she need some milk now? Oh, dolly's crying. Does she need a cuddle? And this is it's like modelling behaviour again, but modelling it with, with the doll. OK, so it's just teaching how we care for other other people that are, are less less able to help themselves okay now would i read a book a 16 month old he might he might understand a book hopefully, hopefully he does but there's a book called hello in there and it's by joe witek w-i-t-e-k a big sister's book of waiting. So I know it's a brother, but you know, I think they should do them for both genders personally. But anyway, but it's really cute, and it's got really simple, cute diagrams. It's not overly wordy or anything like that, and it's got little things that you can actually open. So in here is the little baby, there, and then on the next page, the baby gets a little bit bigger, and so you open it again. It just talks about all the different stages of pregnancy. Well, this one's been opened. Here we go. So there is, is the baby floating around in the mummy's belly. So it just gives a nice description of, of just, and, and I think it should help your little boy understand what's happening. And opening things, kids like opening things, okay? So I think that's something else that would be good to do. Now, when this baby arrives, He's, he's going to have a little bit of a shock, obviously, because by then he's going to be 18 months. Now, not to worry you, but boys between 16 to 18 months um, go through separation anxiety in a big way. Um, and he's going to have a little bits of meltdowns about all this. Expect it, Lena. All right. He's going to act out. He's going to tantrum. He's going to cry. Stuff is going to happen. OK, but by letting him let stuff out is actually helping him so don't shut up the emotions really 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 important and just model some positive behaviors with him so if he goes to hit his sister say say i'd like you to stop hitting your sister and just stroke her or cuddle her gently this is what she likes she likes it gently and just model what gently is so it's stopping something and do this instead okay but try and see him off at the pass, okay? Now, when you come to have the baby, if you're having the baby in hospital, I've got a blog about how to prepare him for that. Um, and the, the sort of three, three key tips are, when he comes to visit you for the first time, meet him by the lift. Don't let him come to your room, okay? Don't be carrying the baby with you. Don't have the baby in the cot, all right? Have the baby in the room by herself and you go and greet him and take him down to the room. And I want you to, Make a big fuss of him before you see to the baby, all right? Let him go over to the cot for himself. I'll have a little peek, okay? Because it's going to be like any new thing that arrives in your life. It's, you've just got to just tread carefully with it, okay? A present for him from the baby and a present for the baby from him is a really helpful thing to do. Um, and once he gets home, he's likely to act out, okay? And I've got a heap of information on how to mould behaviours with kids. Um, and I'm going to put a, a, a few links to blogs in here for you, Lynn, that's going to help you. Okay. But there, my key tips is I would buy a doll with a stroller. I'd read that book to him. 
and I'd look at how you introduce them to the baby at the hospital when, when, when he comes in to see the baby.